live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cleveland Guardians, the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022. About to get started here and towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie. Adam Wainwright. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The wine and the pitch. There's the strike. Left hand batter waits. This ball's chopped on the ground. Over to Goldie, and Ramirez is set down. And that is the third out of the inning. Guardians fail to... Bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, Shane Bieber. Well, he's got such great discipline in between starts, taking care of himself, making sure he's lifting, his stamina stays high. He's a guy that wants to finish every start that he makes. Now, we know that's not quite possible, but he's well-conditioned to throw over 100 pitches effectively. I think if you're on the other side, you've got to try to have lengthy at-bats, run that pitch count up, and perhaps get him out of the ballgame early. It's kind of a rare pitch. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. Paul Goldschmidt goes deep, and the Cardinals have the lead now. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Smoked in the left, base hit. Around first, digging for two. And that's a two-bagger. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so... That's flexing your muscles a little bit. Well, he just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often, but when you get the opportunity, better make the play, and he did right there. This is Dylan Carlson. Here's a 1-1. Rips that one center field. Makes a nice running catch. And that will end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It Second inning set to go. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. And a pop up right side foul territory. Goldie makes the play and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now it's Bobby Bradley. Bobby Bradley. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. So in now for Cleveland, Daniel Johnson. That is it. The left field. Daniel comes up empty. That's strike two. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires to first on the run, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the guard. Back here at the ballpark, here's Corey Dickerson.
Line drive, caught. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. The pitch. De Young with a swing. High fly ball. Deep left field. That one is back. And gone. Paul De Young bless one out. And they boost their lead. It's 3 0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, but it paid off. And now Bader up to the plate. The 1 1. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Harrison Bader hits one out. And they add on. It's 4 0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Hard ground ball, base knock. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Base hit. The throw to third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into... That one ripped. And gone! Tyler O'Neill sends it out. And they tack on three. It's 7-0. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Sam Hentges. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here's Nolan Arenado. And there's a foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Next offering upstairs. Bullpen activity starting up now. Eli Morgan appears to be getting loose. That one lifted to left. And they get Arenado for the out. Out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That Don't front shoulder you. coming Number open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next one misses, two and two. Kicks and deals. Left field, Johnson moving under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, top half of the third inning, here's Andres Jimenez. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging punt. Wainwright checks on first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Runner at first with no outs here. Austin Hedges stands in. So a foul ball makes it one and two. On the ground, right side. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. 
Here's Bradley Zimmer. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One down. And now, Miles Straw. The pitch. Miles Straw. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now the number two hitter, Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario. At the belt and fires. Jimenez at second. Hedges on at first with two down. On the ground right side. Edmund slings the first. And the inning is over. Guardians strand a couple. And welcome back. Here's Dickerson now. Foul ball there. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Payoff pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Makes the catch for the out. Now and the batter now, Yadier Molina. Doubled his first time up. One down, base is empty. There's the swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Foul ball. One and two now. Now a pop up on the infield. Drops into the glove. And there are two outs. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. In the air, left side. Johnson under this one. That is the inning. Redbirds down quietly. Back here at Bush Stadium as we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jose Ramirez. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now here is Fran Mil Reyes. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a ball lifted left field. O'Neill makes the play, one away. And now Bobby Bradley, he's 0 for 1. That one in for a strike, 2 and 2. Surely trying to stay in on the hands, not let him get extended, as that's where the potential for damage exists. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Daniel Johnson getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Ramirez stands at second with two gone. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next one just misses. And it's three and two. On the ground, right side. Over to Goldie. That's the third out. One left for the... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Harrison Bader. In the air, out towards right center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And a quick out, number one. 
And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond, the switch hitter batting right. Next offering is in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering way off the plate. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Straw turns and moving to his left. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. The pitch. Hard hit to third, and it's through for a hit. So the inning is still alive with Tyler O'Neill coming to the dish. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So two down, Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Straw turns to the right on the move. Makes the catch inning over. So one left for the Cardinals. Welcome back, and here is Andres Jimenez. 2 2 down. And there's a the ball. Back to work, 3 2 now. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Bader under it. Makes the catch. One up, one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Austin Hedges now. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So digging in, Bradley Zimmer. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think. He's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. The punch out there, that's his second strikeout. Guardians go down one, two, three. They continue to trail seven, nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's Nolan Arenado. Next offering is fouled back. Next pitch has popped up. Ramirez in position. And there's one down. Now, now Dylan Carlson. And a pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Dive, and he's got it to Jimenez. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. We're through five. It's the Cardinals seven, and the Guardians nothing. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Miles Straw. And the righty deals. Ripped on a line. Can't get their base hit. Now batting. So, man aboard. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Wainwright picks the first. And he's back standing. Ball on a strike. Swing and a miss. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. 
Here's Jose Ramirez. Jose. The one two. And fouled off. First and second here, no outs. And down on strikes. One gone here. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling, and you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Grounded to third. Could be two. Over to second for one. Oh, the throw is wild. And now the first baseman, Bobby Bradley. Bradley waits. Bounce to the left side. DeYoung collects it. And he's safe at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Cardinals seven and a Guardian. Back here in St. Louis, now Molina at the plate. The why to kick the pitch. That's towards center. Straw under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And now the lefty. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He'll circle the bases, his second home run of the game. It's 8-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Stays alive. And he deals. And a foul ball. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Now fly ball to right center. Zimmer under it. And there's two down. The so the lineup flips team. over. Second Tommy Edmond at the plate. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. That one ripped left field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Man in scoring position with two away. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. In the air, right side. Zimmer on the move towards the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. Still a lot. We go to the top of the seventh. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. Righty delivers. Right side. Edmund slings the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The catcher, number 17, Austin. Stepping in, Austin Hedges. In the air, right field, Carlson drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and there's two away.
the right fielder, number four. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping up for the Guardians, Bradley Zimmer, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. That one to first. He takes it on his own, and that will end the inning. Pitching change here, Eli Morgan. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Now up for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Morgan. He's someone that fills up the strike zone, so he doesn't give up a lot of walks, but because he's in the zone so much, a decent amount of hits occur. Next offering is down low. And he's got to get ahead early in the count and then be able to mix up his speeds, add and subtract some velocity, but command is the big key, throwing the ball where he wants to. Got him. And there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard. One one. They had a swing and a miss there. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Righty to the plate. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Lifted in the air, right center field. Zimmer drifts towards it and makes the play, and that's out number three. And down. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Miles Straw. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jordan Hicks comes on now. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. DeYoung throws the first in time. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's a speed threat, Ahmed Rosario. And the right-hander deals. On the ground, Edmund handles. Throws the first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. So in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Two down, nobody on. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Got him looking. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. The Guardians go down in order. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Corey Dickerson. Into left center for a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a leadoff double. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. That one hammered left field. And forget it. He made him pay for that one. That's his 99th career homer. And they add 
to their lead. It's 10-1. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, Boog. He squared it up and knew it was gone. Zimmer puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Edmund leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Last chance coming up for the Guardians. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Fran Mil Reyes. Here's a 1-1. Little chopper rolls foul. Out to center, Bader sizes this one up. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. The first and baseman. here's the first baseman, Bobby Bradley. Bobby. Left hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. And a ball oh, evens the count. And the pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Now only one out remaining. Daniel Johnson digs in for the Guardians. And a 1-1. Up the middle. Edmund gloves it. On the run. Sends it over to first. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals take this one in a blowout. Well, these guys got the bats going early with a huge second inning, and they never really look back. When you have that type of focus, you're confident.